NASA has taken a bet on Elon Musk to help them get back on the moon. And their plan seems to work out. In April 2023, SpaceX launched Starship, the biggest rocket to ever take off. But it's not only Musk. More private space startups are looking to monetize space in every possible way. Are we about to sell out the universe? NASA has come a long way from effectively blocking private space flights in the US up until 2004 to relying on private startups for their missions, most notably SpaceX. The Commercial Space Launch Amendments Act of 2004 required NASA to involve private companies, and the agency has struck several contracts with them. NASA's goal, private capital and competition to drive innovation. It works well. Today, private companies are opening the door to the future of spaceflight. To the moon and beyond. Although Starship exploded four minutes after the launch, even getting this giant off the ground is considered a big success. With possible cargo up to 150 tons, it can haul about five times the weight of the famous space shuttle. This is needed to transport equipment and supplies over long distances and ultimately establish permanent bases in outer space. So it's no wonder Starship will play a key role in NASA's Artemis program, which aims to create a long-term presence on the moon, with a crewed mission planned for 2025. This would mark humanity's first return to the lunar surface in over 50 years and the moon base would be the foundation for future journeys to Mars. A tourist attraction? Aside from the goal of making humanity interplanetary, private spaceflight is also turning into an entertainment industry for the super-rich. In 2022, SpaceX was the first US company to send three tourists to the International Space Station for a staggering ticket price of 50 million euro. However, Russia and Japan were already hosting tourists at the ISS before. Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic is also at the forefront of space tourism. Virgin Galactic is planning a final test flight in late May 2023 before it wants to open its doors to paying customers. The company has already sold around 800 tickets for future flights. For the 90-minute flight, the prices range up to around €430,000. Vast, a startup from California and the latest partner of SpaceX, is planning to launch a fully commercial station in space. The single module outpost will be called Haven 1, and visitors could spend up to 30 days aboard. Mining resources. With resources on Earth getting rare, companies are looking into space. Asteroids often contain metals like gold, titanium and platinum, which are needed for almost every electronic device. In 2015, the United States passed the Space Act to make so-called space mining possible for US companies. There are multiple startups exploring the tech you would need for that, including AI-powered miners and systems for refinery and transport. For now, it's still a dream, but it could be worth it. NASA estimates the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter to be worth 670 quintillions. Are we moving too quickly? The space industry has always accepted a significant level of risk and failure, but some worry that private companies are pushing too far, too fast, and thereby putting lives at risk. Trial and error have replaced extensive testing of every part to ensure maximum safety. Also, space flights emit huge amounts of carbon dioxide. In times of climate change, projects like Branson's Virgin Galactic and Bezos Blue Origin, whose main goal is tourism, have been widely criticized. Finally, with more cargo than ever hauled into orbit, the amount of trash that's surrounding Earth is drastically increasing. So-called space junk not only poses a threat to people flying through space, nearly all communication systems, from navigation to financial infrastructure, rely on outer space tech. A collision of even small pieces with satellites could cause major disruption on Earth. Exploring has always been humanity's nature, but with private companies venturing into space, 
Commercial interest also plays a huge role. Are you excited for the space age? What are your concerns? Let us know.